Welcome to the adventures of the Martin Dynasty, Lord Paramount, or I should say King Asimov, Martin of the Rock. They're not coming out too badly. 17 Martian at the age 14. I feel like this character, even though our last character died very, very early on, our new character is, is a very good replacement, so I can't really be too mad about it. Somebody pointed out yesterday as well that despite the fact that it said the other woman killed him, um, he was actually, it was a known murder. I thought that they'd gone away with it, but no, we can see that Miles Payne, in fact, was the man that killed our father. So now poor old Miles Payne gets to, uh, gets to be executed. How should we do it? Oh, is there no other way we can do it a bit more? Fine, have him hanged. There we go. Vengeance is, uh, vengeance is complete. So we can lower from Empire Tier 2 Kingdoms here in Swear Fealty back to the Iron Throne, thus joining back the Martin lands of the West and the East and the Stormlands. But you've got to bear in mind right now, if we drop down from a, an Empire Tier title to a Kingdom Tier title, we will lose the Stormlands, which are a Kingdom Tier title as well. So there's a few things we've got to do before we can just swear fealty back to the Iron Throne to ensure that we've got Martin solidarity. That's the important thing right now. We, we don't want two different Martin-led empires button heads like next door to one another. That's not conducive to that. We need to we need to reunify the Martin realms. So the plan is to, I guess, go to the age where we can start plotting. See if we can convince Robert Baratheon II to go into rebellion, then revoke the Stormlands, then convert to a Kingdom here and swear fealty back to King's Landing. That way we get to keep everything, and the Martins hold, I mean, let's be honest, three of what is essentially now the eight Kingdoms of the Iron Throne, plus two of them are in our hands, so we're in a very, very powerful situation. Well, I guess three are in our hands, plus the Iron Throne itself, obviously. I guess we'll, um... I guess we'll just see the rest of his education through, see how he ends up. Unfortunately, that is another character that was on course to forging a bloodline that we now uh, that, that we now cannot continue with. Ah, oh, there we are. Losing another one learning, getting another one martial. What's the, this character's base learning? Two. So we can do that two more times. Um, should we pump it all into into martial? Go two more martial points, or should we put one in intrigue as well, just in case we do? We are going to have to fire that plot, bearing in mind. So let's put our last two points of learning here into... Uh, into intrigue and then we'll see how it goes i'll pay the interest on behalf of my banner when we got plenty of gold i'm i'm happy just to sit on this mountain of cash and make sure that we are a beloved ruler so that we can avoid another another situation that we had last time with king jeremy strong despite the fact he seemed incredible still assassinated so we use this gold hopefully hopefully fairly sensibly to to keep everyone happy with us to keep everyone on side oh we actually got shrewd Holy shit, and he still only got three diplomacy. Oh, nice. In honor of your glory and honor, is this because we're zealous? Yeah. So we lose Squire, gain Knight, gain 75 prestige and 100 piety as well. We're almost finished here. What are our options right now? Oh, we can get coronated. We definitely should get coronated. Why don't we also see if we can grab Brave while it's available? Um, I can never remember the bloody option off the top of my head. Uh, what did we get from that? Oh, we got trusting. Well, never mind. Could have been, could have been worse, I guess. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get a coronation ceremony then. Wait, divine from a glass candle. Oh, we also became a mystic. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh, that is really cool. We're up to 19 intrigue now, huh? Uh, and we've got a glass candle. Is it active now that we can... It's active now that we're a mystic. So that's another plus two intrigue, plus two diplomacy, plus three learning. Holy shit. That was really, really, really fortunate. And we've got to go ahead and get all of our other stuff re-equipped here. Um, Codex Martin for the morale. Let's go for... What do you think? Plus three learning from that one probably couldn't hurt. We'll go for a sword and bucket and manual first. Oh god, our books are a bit crap, aren't they, actually? Plus three learning from that one. Then the book of lost books or another plus one learning. Yikes, they're all pretty bad. Alright, we'll go for that one then. Boom. Alright, let's also make sure that we've got our spear and our armor equipped now that we're old enough to, to wear them. My god, this guy is really good. I thought our last character was good, but he's like our last character, but scaled up. Sure, less diplomacy, less stewardship, but much more martial and much more personal combat. Oh, wait, I remember. The, the reason we didn't get coronated last time was because we had to push a claim on King's Landing, right? Um, what's he going to offer us then? Oh, he's just he's just up for it. Okay, cool. Thanks, Santa. Um, should we have an extravagant ceremony? Have the biggest feast we can afford and try and keep our vassals happy? I know this has a chance of pissing off the High Septum because it's, like, way too much of a big deal. Um... But sure, let's, let's let's go for it then. Let's go for the big grandiose one. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be our vassals that assassinate us, not the septum. There we are. So extravagant coronation gives plus 10 vassal opinion. And then 150 prestige and piety. This guy is so good. I can't get over how fucking good this guy is. The clans have risen up in the veil again. How many more years have we got? Uh, first, uh, oh, so we got six more months before... We get to see how his education actually ends up here. That's when the, the last of his education traits will obviously resolve there. 
So willful, ambitious, brave authority, we'll stop and to be honest, all of those are good. But obviously, if we get ambitious on top of that, that would be fantastic. Oh, did the Reachers break off? Oh, they did. Holy shit, we might be able to grab some extra land as well before we rejoin the Iron Throne. Um, the other thing is we need to be at peace, and I think that's why we couldn't do it yesterday. The Valyrian Reformation? Huh. Somebody asked in the comment section yesterday, what happened to those Valyrian Dragon Riders that spawned in? There's your answer. The Kingdom of Laz The Empire of the Valyrian Lazar. They've reformed their faith. And they're led by a Dragon Rider Emperor. Who's an insanely good leader. Um, they've got the Kingdom of Yunkai. They've got the Empire of Gishkar and the Empire of Lazar. I didn't even realize those were different things. I, th I thought Lazar counted as... Oh, I guess not. I thought they counted as part of the Empire of Gishkar, but... Wow, look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. They've done such a good job. I can't believe it. Yeah, and their capital is over on Illyria. Holy shit, wow. Well, there you go. Well, that answers that question, then. Three more days. Then we see how our character ends up. Boom. We got Brilliant Commander. Very nice to see. 27 Marshal. Good God. We also got Holy Warrior. That's so good. And we got Flanker, which is alright as well. Uh, I would have preferred Direct Leader, but that's alright. Nothing to worry about, really. So the only downside to this character, Arbitrary and Trusting, very similar to our previous character, then we do, we do have Trusting to do with it. Let's go for Stewardship, see if we can get rid of Arbitrary fairly early on here. That is one thing that will contribute to our potential murders. Wife is already pregnant, which is fantastic. Um, Dowager Queen Bethany, so our mother to marry off Lord Lord Benjin, Uncle Benjin of the North. Um, what's his helmet? Helmet? Crown. You know what I meant. Um, he's not... He has, I guess it's just a, just a graphical thing, really. Um, sure, why not? Bethany the Whiner. Fucking my god. Oh, wow. Rosby has benefited greatly from being the capital of a prosperous realm that is the Kingdom of the Rock. Immigrants are flocking to the city and traders frequently visit the markets. We can lose 400 gold to gain a large king's land, a crown, crown? town in Rosby. So, uh, it's a city of Rosby, I assume. Great to large. So that would normally cost us a fucking fortune to upgrade the holding. Yeah, 2,700. We're getting it for 400 instead. Wow, that's an insanely good deal. Good God. Let's go and find another tournament then. Did we win the other one? Uh, we... Uh, pet dog? That's not right. Um, apparently we didn't even take part. So now for the next step of the Glorious Martin reunification plan. Actually, how are they doing on the Iron Throne? I mean, this guy's 11. Uh, his brother is 9. There are two of them in line, and then what happens? Clark Martin. H.G. Martin. Oh, so our brothers would get it instead. Oh, well, shit. The Martin is... is we're, we're cemented on the Iron Throne, then. In that case, fantastic news. So now we need to try and fabricate treason on the Stormlands, which is going to be much, much easier said than done. By the mind, we don't... Fuck off. We don't have the highest amount of intrigue. We will have to bribe a lot of High Lords, and it's going to be a very, very expensive plot all around. Um, he also seems to be fairly well beloved. I'll have to check his character page in a second, see what traits he's got. But he seems to be a very well-respected character, just by the very few amount of people who want to join this goddamn plot. Um, brave. Yeah, brave, kind, content, temperate, zealous, gregarious knight. He is, is a very good ruler. This is going to be quite difficult to, to unearth him, then. Um, I guess we'll hit him with a... I guess we'll hit him with a minus 20 general opinion, but bear in mind our character's not going to generate those George points very fast. So we can't rewrite this guy, unfortunately. Um, how are we looking with that, then? 83%. That's with everybody we've bribed in. It's not fantastic, but it's not terrible. What if we move our spy master over there? What would that buff us up by? Another 9.5, and you're our best... Oh, there is someone slightly better. Unwin. Don't care what the council think. Right, let's put him over there, then. We are up to 68%. Oh, shit. I've really pissed some people off, then. Um... 78%. Damn it. Okay. Jade Companion. So though our treasury. No, we're not going to steal the books from our people. 40% it succeeds. I mean, this is the final step towards becoming... To the Martin Reunification. To become a Lord Paramount of the Stormlands as well as the Rock and the Crownlands. To the Westerlands, I should say. And then rejoining the Iron Throne. I mean, it's a 40% chance of succeeding. 30% chance of nothing happening. And then 30% chance of being discovered. I'm going to take the gamble. Oh! <gasps> And a gamble that paid off it did. Holy shit. Uh, so we can now... He's a traitor. Vassals will not object. And he's agreeing to it. Revoke. Be gone, Thought. Oh, look at that. And now we send him a gift. And it's as if nothing ever happened. I'll send him an artifact as well. Just so we don't get... Just so we don't get completely assassinated. Um, 
There we go. You're welcome. I know the Brathians are our enemies, but I feel like we've really put them in their place at this stage, huh? Taken, taken just about everything they ever had. Right, cool. So now we've now got the Rock, the Stormlands, the Martinlands, convert to kingdoms here. Boom. We're now just a king. And then we say, hey, King's Landing, can I swear fealty? And they'll say yes. And then the great Martin reunification. My friends, watch this shit. Boom. And you want to see the cool part now? <laughs> Even when we break it up into the dynasty map mode, we control a ridiculous amount of land. Over the course of one generation, we've gone from just being the Lord of the Crownlands to all of this stuff. That works out so, so, so well. We've got to thank the Valyrians for it, though, because they gave us the, the coin and the, the Cassus Belli necessary to take the rock. So without them, we would, we would not have had that. The game very much gave us a golden opportunity there. Downside is we're now way over our vassal limit. Uh, is there much I can do about that besides reorganizing everything? Shit. No, not really. Um, have we got... Okay, so we need to check then personally for count tier vassals that I can shuffle under other people for a start. Bramsfoot. Um, so, oh god, yeah, look, it's all around here. Like, what's a rush? Uh, was that King's Landing that one's under, which, of course, we're never going to get. Um, so we'll shuffle him under... We'll shuffle him under the Blackwater Rush. We might end up making some very powerful vassals here, but, of course, they're never going to be able to... They're never going to be as powerful as we are. Where is he? Bramsfort, that is yours. Okay. And this is going to take me a while, but I'm going to try and tidy up this area the best I can. It's not the nicest looking arrangement, but I have had to make some quite powerful vassals there. So Blackwater Rush is quite powerful. Summerfield looks more powerful than it actually is. Um, it's certainly not the most... It, they've just got lots of kind of large land. Casterly Rock, you have a couple of toppers as well, but that gives us 25 out of 32 on our vassal size. So it gives us plenty of flexibility if we want to take some more titles. And titles we definitely want to take are... Preferably, why do you hate us? What the hell's wrong with you? Minus 87... Blood Feud minus 100 with House Kellington? I'm not sure about that one. Desires the Kingdom of the Stormlands. How about a kind gift instead? Why don't we also chuck him an artifact, try and keep him happy? Um, <laughs> Melisandre's Ruby, that's 60 opinion. There you go. Not that we can do anything with it, of course. Oh, shit. We won the Tournament of the Storms then. That's pretty appropriate. Um, yeah, we'll name our wife uh, the, the Lady of Beauty, whatever the hell it is. 75 gold and 200 prestige. Man, I didn't realize it was quite so high for that. 16 years of age, and we've got 1,730. If anyone's going to form a bloodline, it's going to be Lord Paramount Asimov here. I have a lot of faith in this guy. Um, really? Really? Someone made you... Okay, right. What I'm going to do then is, is obviously business as usual. Then let's, uh, business being the operative word. Let's go ahead and find some, uh, some treasurers, some castellans, whatever the hell we want to dig up here. Why don't we just go ahead and try and find, whoa, hello. Oh, he's still alive. He just got unlanded. Well, let's uh, invite him to our court then. Let's make him our justicia. He's got 21 diplomacy after all. He's one of the most qualified person in the realm. And High Admiral, of course, the standard Martin placeholder council seat. Right, you're fired. Get out of here. Uh, Baylor. No, no, no. We want to put Lawrence on that one and then Baylor on that one. Mainly because this guy obviously has the higher chance of collecting the tides. There we are. Uh, Justicia, you're sacked in favor of this zombie man. He's going to be our eternal Justicia now, which I think is quite cool. Um, oh, it turns out our marshal is basically the best one we've got. Spymaster, we do have someone slightly better. We're also going to chuck him a gift to make sure he's nice and loyal. Uh, Maester is as good as possible. And then we've got a slightly better Septon as well. That's a, that's a pretty incredible counter we've got there. It's a couple of weak links. So Castell and our Lord Treasurer are the only ones really preventing us having a great council. Obviously, Maester, but we can't control that one at all. Fair enough. Right, let's go ahead and join the Alchemist Guild then as early as possible and the highest chance that we get some of those cool powers. We've briefly seen them in other series. So we've seen that one of the special powers is the ability to like control wildfire creatures or something like that. Um, there's also a, a, an advanced form of alchemy, but again, I have no experience with them whatsoever. I would love to see them in one of these series eventually, if possible. Oh, look at that. They're all breaking free of the Iron Throne. So it's the Ironborn, uh, the Reach, and the North. They're all at war with the Iron Throne, Dawn, and I guess us now. Um, we're, we're quite a powerful ally to be called into that. In the hopes that, I mean, if they lose, the Iron Throne is going to be splintered, and then it wouldn't take much for the Eerie to break off as well. Then it would just be Martin Central, so uh, quite literally Central of the Iron Throne there too. So I'd rather avoid that. You know, I'd like to keep the Eerie around if possible. Actually, can we put our Dynasty member on the, the Eerie still? Is that plan still in action? Claim the Veil. Uh, it's Janice Aaron. Lady, what happened to the Dynasty members that we set up? Where the hell are they? 
I know they had a weak claim. Wait, no, we didn't finish the plan, did we? It was uh, that their mother had a weak claim, and I never actually got around to pushing their claim on the throne. How? Who was it we married them off to? Was it like, it wasn't our Uncle Allard? It wasn't Robert Martin? Um, was it? Oh God, I'm gonna have to find out who it was. Wasn't like one of our grandfather's brothers? Uh, evidently not. Oh God. Okay. I'll go through my dynasty then and see if any of them have. What if we just go through claimants on the Eerie? Um, yeah, so we haven't got any. Should be a slightly older one, too. Uh, Garth of Oldstones. It's definitely not you. Uh, Eldon of which I'll... Okay, this might take me a while to track down which one it is. Damn, this is where it'd be useful to go back and watch one of the other videos to see... Uh, to see who it was we married off. But it looks as if we're just going to have to restart the plot for the veil entirely. Um, is there any unmarried members that we can invite to our court? She's married matrilineal, but it wouldn't take much to maybe deal with that. Um, Sonora Lady of the Vale is married to Dennis Stone of House Aaron. Um, I wonder if we could maybe kill him off. Bear in mind we haven't really got a plot right now. See if we can kill him off, and then get her to our court to marry one of our dynasty members, and then obviously do, do the usual tactic. She also has the trident, so she's a very powerful person to have married into. Let's see what we can do with this plot then. There are a lot of people that seem to want this guy killed as well, so it shouldn't take too much to convince them to get on board. Oh, damn. I should have checked what the auto-invite plotters were like before I started dishing out taxes, because apparently we've already got enough there. Um, we'll pay the interest. Don't want to piss anybody off. Right, so before we really get to invest into the bail plot once again, let's go ahead and tidy up the rest of these 66, 70,000 men in total. Good God. Um, let's go ahead and deal with our... Our rebellious rounds within... Within, I, I think it's fair to say... Did that just... Phew, motherfucker. Within... What I think it's fair to say is our realm here. Uh, oh, wait. No, no. It's fleet levies, you moron. Okay, they're still there. We're fine. Okay. Um, let's drop you. I guess we'll just march on... I, I mean, the Ironborns are the one we really need to deal with. But Dawn already have that on lockdown. So we'll march on the Reach. Um, bearing in mind that we might also find a way to grab some of the Reach's titles later on. Speaking of which, is there anybody that we could act on here? Samuel Florent. Um, really, we're looking for a woman again that we can marry our dynasty into, push her claim, etc., etc. Um, Florence Florent. What a great name. They're all betrothed. We'll deal with the veil first. The veil has been a plot that we've been working on for quite some time. They've also started grabbing up the trident, which we've got quite a lot of. So I'd rather deal with the veil first and foremost. Uh, you guys maybe give them a wide berth there. Oh, the Iron Throne's actually on, on top of that one, too. Another... Uh, oh, the Firstborn Son. Right, of course. Uh, Mortimer Martin, welcome. Mortimer Martin is a fantastic name, but obviously we are sticking to our naming scheme. I'll go ahead and dig up some of those in a second. And Humphrey Cockshaw. God, you're a mess. He's infirm as well. He's still got 21 diplomacy. What the fuck? Obese, gonorrhea. Obese, I don't think I've ever seen that before. So far, they can... Oh, God. He's a bit like um, Yagram Bagan now. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. Um... Who are we gonna who are we gonna marry you off to? How about Lady Maya? Ah, oh, what no, actually we shouldn't marry off like decent dynasty members to this giant disgusting fat monster. Um Laughing Bird, a wildling for you. A wildling for a wild man. Okay, there we go. Uh so we've we've managed to field like ten thousand trips, really not very many from uh from the Stormlands. There we got twenty eight thousand. And then we've got another twenty five thousand from the Westerlands. So we're just going to go in on all sides onto the Reach, because they are realistically the most dangerous. The Iron Th the Iron Islands cannot field nearly as many troops as the Reach can, and same same applies to the North. A destitute lord from the Iron Islands, the line of our enemy, King Dennis Awkward, has defected his ride at Rosby. Um, sure? Charging Mammoth? Beyond the Wall of Gods from the Frozen Shore. Tell him he can only stay the night. Yeah, I'm, I, don't, I don't want your people here. We, bear in mind we don't have any Dragon Riders anymore either, because on Succession yesterday, our Dragon Rider died around the same time as our character that we were playing as did. Uh, so why don't we just dive in here? Just dive in, hack down whatever we can. The Iron Throne will hopefully do most of the work, but we just want to try and keep them on the right side of victory rather than minus 29%, to be honest with you. Let's go and help out Dawn, actually, with the Siege of High Garden. Your kinsman, Samuel, tried to hatch a dragon, but failed and lost his egg. What a moron. That could have come in really handy. Oh, Lord Manfred has procured a poisonous viper in a sense that will dig its fans into Sir Dennis. How are we doing with that? 182% with plenty of other people willing to join as well. Um, don't point that thing at me. Kill him dead. Come on. And I've also marked her as special interests as well. Who are these people that I marked? 
What was the reason for doing that? Uh, Dale? Magel? Orton? What? I can't remember why I marked these people in hindsight. Doesn't matter too much. Alright, let's go ahead and take them off. Um, goodbye, John. Oh, those were the people. I remember now. Those were people we invited to court, didn't we? So that we could uh, spy on them, banish them, take their gold. Obviously, it's a bit, bit irrelevant now. A little bit late for that. Um, and you can go as well. So the one we, we want to marry off into our dynasty is Sonora Aaron. Hopefully, she will... Kind of be our keys to the veil. We've shot up to 57%. God knows how. I haven't done anything besides siege down uh, this province here. And I very much doubt Rainwood was the... Have they taken their capital? They have. They've taken Old Wick. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, snake, snake succeeded. Now, uh, bear in mind his wife is in the plot. I assume she's... <sighs> I was going to say, I'll assume she won't end up widowed. Quite clearly, I was very incorrect there. Um, can we arrange a marriage? No, because she's widowed. Brilliant. Right, well, I guess we'll keep an eye on her then. Make sure that uh, make sure that she sticks around. Maybe it's all for the ploy, you know, so people won't suspect her. Um, probably around you the god the Westerlands owes my house. I don't believe that we do. I certainly didn't take out a loan again. But we've got the money. Let's not make any enemies. I've, I've had enough of playing different characters to last me a lifetime this week. The reason I'm so invested in the in the riches, because like I said, we, we should be able to find the Castus Bella and these guys eventually. So we might as well beat them around a little bit. Um, see if we can weaken them up. More importantly... It is a Martin on the Iron Throne. He might just end up revoking the title and keeping the Reach audition out to one of his dynasty members, which, as we saw, the Baratheons did, so I don't see why a Martin wouldn't. We might end up just empowering our dynasty more and more and more by helping out with this war, let alone pushing claims on it afterwards. And then that's why, you know, it's down to us to take the veil there, because I can't imagine, can't imagine our current king on the throne is going to do much to much to the veil, whereas these guys are definitely on his, uh, on his chopping block. No, Seth and Raymond is doing a fine job. I'm not here to piss off the Pope. Council vote to keep him, sure, whatever. I, I'm not too bothered about the council dynamics right now, especially when we're just trying to keep the throne stable. Last thing we want to do is make an enemy's... Oh, shit. So, actually, a lot of vassals are happy with us, but... Shit, we still got one, two... What is that? Eight? Seven? Seven vassals are still a bit pissed off at us. That's a bit annoying. My gardens fall. Oh, wow. But the city of Hazelton has a ridiculous amount of defenders. Um... We will give uh, the Iron Throne a loan at 25% interest. Why would you ever go for that? I mean, that one, he owes us a favor, and we still get the loan at 25% interest. Yeah, obviously we'll do that. That's so weird. I don't know why you would... Oh, for God's sake. Where are these debts coming from? Where are these... Stop this. A lot of serve spear. Lannister bloodline. Oh, she's coming to take back the rock as a descendant of House Lannister. I see. Um... Well, we haven't got any plots going right now, so it would be a horrible shame if you were to end up in my dungeon forever. Uh, let's see what we can do then. Oh, people people want her gone already. I barely have to do anything this time around. It means we can save our George points for a more important target. Uh, what? All hail is Grace Balagor of House Ilva. First of his name, Emperor of the Andals, the Roynar and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, Protector of the Realm. Uh, what the fuck did he just do? Did we just get Dragon Conquested? I think we just got Dragon Conquested. Holy shit. Round two of the Valyrian Boogaloo. Um, they just... They just... Conquested us. They've taken King's Landing. Oh my god. So for those of you who don't know, if you're a dragon rider in a Game of Thrones, very similar to how Aegon Targaryen conquered Westeros, you can basically conquest anywhere by right of being a dragon rider. And before... Do you go to war, you have the opportunity of just surrendering to them without conflict. Basically accepting, okay, they've got a dragon. We can't compete with that. We're just going to surrender. That's what they just did. They just surrendered. Uh, as in as in Lord Paramount Jeremy has just surrendered the Iron Throne from House Martin hands to Emperor Balagor the Dragon. Oh my god. Minus 92 opinion, why? Wants the Martinlands, wants Flea Bottom. Ambitious, ambitious, honorable versus deceitful. Foreign relations. I will attend your feast. 
What a fucking plot twist. Out of nowhere, Valyrian dragons, whilst our kingdoms are all at each other's throats, while the Reach and the Iron Islands and, and everyone else is ripping each other apart, in come Valyria to unify us all. Wow. You finally arrived in King's Landing for the coronation of Emperor Balagor. You've been given shelter, bread, and oh, fine high garden hippocras as his guest right. I'm glad to be here. No, I'm not. Do you know how much fucking time and effort it took me to, to put that throne together? Good lord. Okay, let's make sure our troops are dropped. And that's just the kingdom of Lazar control everything. Good god. In the name of the gods, I, Balagor of House Ilvar, the first of my name, promise, pledge, protect, and guarantee in the sight of the gods that I will be a protector and defender of the realm in many ways useful to it, however many, and so far as I am supported by the divine assistance, according to my knowledge and ability. Today, Emperor Balagor was crowned by Emperor Bel Belagor. Well done, give yourself a pat on the back. And formally received the title King of the Andals, the Royal Now, the first man, Lord of Seven Kingdoms, protector of the realm. Shit. This is all George's fault. Because George was the one that wrote in these goddamn dragon riders. See, I, Admiral. Like I said, the traditional Martin seat. <sighs> I guess we'll try and make friends with him, if nothing else. Here you go. Have, a, have some fine armor. Fuck. No, not yet. There's not much point anymore, is there? Um, bear in mind, we're not at war. I don't really care if she sends troops. She's not going to be able to succeed. We've also apparently got a dragon in our capital. Have we now? Where are we? Lord Paramount of the Westlands, Lord Paramount of the Stormlands, Lord Paramount of the Martinlands, High Almoner of Lazar. Why are we up here? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's where Lord Paramount Jeremy has been reduced to just being the kingdom of beyond the wall. They've exiled him. Although he's got the whole thing by the looks of it. The borders are quite tidy. Um... Holy shit, they've, they've pushed him up beyond the wall. Unbelievable. So what we did to House Baratheon, we've just had done to us. Talk about karma. Um, I guess then, a new, a new chapter starts in the Martin Dynasty. A chapter of overthrowing our new Valyrian conquerors. And retaking what's ours for Westeros. Before we do that then... I will make an exception to my no dragon rule when our enemies, as far as I'm concerned, Balagor the dragon of Lazar is our enemy now. Our enemies have dragons. I think we could do with the dragon as well. We have a couple of books that can help us with that, but even then it's it's massively, I mean, forget Valyrian opinion, that actually genuinely might not be too bad. Um, let's drop, what, what other book have we got equipped here? Yeah, get rid of that one. Let's get the Valyrian opinion. It's going to be very unlikely that we'll succeed with taming this dragon. Shrewd, does that give anything? It does give a little bonus there. Strong, does that give anything? It does give a little bonus there as well. Let's do it. Which dragon of the Frost Cave shall I face? Nothing. Never mind then. I guess we won't face the friggin' dragon. I think that's because someone else is facing it. Um, or maybe it's an unnamed dragon? I guess it probably is. I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you. Uh, he wants us to be commander. Absolutely not. And we will vote in favor of House Stark on this council meeting. Um, yeah, what's going on with this dragon then, huh? Oh, I see what happened there. Right, so we had the option, but then we were taken out of them. There probably is a dragon at the Frost Caves. But we've been now moved back to King's Landing. Uh, and as a result, we now can't face the dragon because the character in King's Landing is it says there is not a dragon rider. It's a member of Dragon Riding Dynasty. Um, either that or we have to be related to him, etc, etc, etc. Um... Well, that's annoying. We could still hunt for a dragon. Don't get me wrong. There might be some at Dragonstone, bearing the amount that we've seen. We'd have to go on our own little adventure, though, to try and dig one up. Um, man, I'd love to get a dragon now, then. Especially if we're going to fight Valyria. Show me the dragons. Untamed dragons, wild dragons. Here we are. Uh, there's Gale Glider in Illyria. There's two in Illyria, one in Shy, two in Berylos, and two in Sarmel. Um, I don't know where Berylos is off the top of my head, actually. Uh... Berry, Berry Loss is right there. Oh, wow. Um, it's over in Pentos. We could go there first, and then the others are located in Sarmel. Is that not a ruin, Sarmel? Um, City of Sarmel. Oh, it's, it's in Volantis, but no, oh, it's the one that's next to the ruins. Okay, fair enough. We should head over there, see what we can dig up then. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to even this fight. Because even if we raise an army ten times his, as long as they've got multiple dragons, which they almost certainly do, 
They're going to annihilate us. They're going to absolutely roast us. As a mob Martin, I hereby name you Warden of the South. Thank you. I'll put it with the rest of my titles. All right, let's go see what we can find out there in the world. And we've got 27 Marshall too. So if anybody deserves to be a Dragon Rider, it's our guy. Um... So we're going through to Berylos first. We'll go through the port of Pentos and see what we can find. House Docker of rules of the kingdom of Astapor. Oh, wow. They gave the Dothraki Astapor? Okay. Yep. No, that's a completely reasonable thing to do. There should be a dragon right where we are right now. Uh, face the dragon. Do we want to go for Ancalion? Which is quite cool. Or Pestire. Um, Pestire is that one. 102. Obviously, the older dragons get, generally the stronger they get as well. So, we'll go for Pastire. If we're going to risk our life taming a dragon, I want it to be a freaking good dragon. This one's got 102 martial as well. And it's got wrath. But it is shy, which is going to make it harder to... Yeah, it cannot usually be found directly in the wild. Ah, oh, damn it. Makes it very difficult to track down, unfortunately. Um, we'll try it again. We can just keep trying until eventually we, we, we find it, I guess. So, the other option is Ancalion. That one's affectionate, which gives a double taming chance. That one, if anything, might be... The one to go for. Gives us the highest chance of not being roasted. You've scoured the area and we've actually found Ancalion. We could say, you are mine. I will slay the beast. Oh, Jesus. We need our dragon. Just one dragon. Even if we don't take it into battle, we'll start giving us dragon eggs that we can distribute to other members of House Martin and take back the Iron Throne. Can Lord Paramount Asimov of the Westerlands pull this off? Do we have our books equipped? Yep. We've got dragons, worms, and wyverns. I'd love to see a dragon taming chance modifier so we can quickly add it up here. You are mine. Oh, God. Okay, we failed. What have I done? 20% chance we die. 50% chance we become wounded. 15% chance of maimed. 15% chance of burnt. What have I done? Lord Paramount Mortimer. Merely two years old. The realm is left in the capable hands of a regent and a council. Holy shit. I mean, if that guy wasn't going to do it, I don't think anybody we, we ever have are going to be able to do that. So be it. Asimov. Asimov the self-confident. Asimov the arrogant might be the most appropriate way. Fed to a dragon. Dragon ate him. And now Clark of the Rock. Um, he's much better than us. Clark of the Rock is also an elusive shadow and quick. And we and, and he stands to take our titles if we were to die. I have a feeling Clark of the Rock might end up smothering us with a pillow. Of course, we will hold a, a funeral for our father. Tragedy. It's just tragedy after tragedy in this world. All, all the lords and ladies of the realm. Well, then, I think we'll leave that there for today. A tragic ending to a tragic tale. House Martyr is on the back burner. Quite literally. Well, on the front burner, really. The front burner of the dragon, that is, which is horribly roasted. Maybe the best character we're ever going to see. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And more importantly, a thank you to the patrons, without which we would not be able to play this very silly game. Thank you to Ninja Tree V, Jonah Waters, Archerance98, James Shea, Scary Scurvy, Gwen S, Bacon Kitten, Chicken Wang HD, Atmosis, Michael Mullen, Peyton Denisar, DKO, Skaz, Paul, Northern Bear, Odie, Pringles, Tyler McClam, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon as well. Let me know, of course, if you want to shout out on the Patreon list, if you do not already have one, just to reiterate that I am in the middle of uh, redoing all the lists from scratch. So if I missed anyone, a heads up would be much appreciated. And a thank you as well to Lampy, Derek F, I am Sagatair, Big Weeb, Silent Sentinel, Noobmeister, Nikki Sticks, Gopamo, Bokbin, Monty, Chronic Blob, Genji Zerka, Travis Sanders, Adam M, Bubka, Bad Burrito 316 and everyone else at Patreon as well for their support and keep the channel possible in the first place. What a plot twist.